started out with our great-great-grandfather and he had five sons and eventually the youngest one managed to get all of it. At one time they grew potatoes. What corn they grew was just for the mules. Uh, all kinds of vegetables, string beans, tomatoes, and all that. At one time the creek behind our house actually they were able to load barges of potatoes there and send them to Franklin City. Thirty years ago, there were 30,000 acres of potatoes on the shore. Now it's less than 10 in the two counties, so it's a pretty big decrease. Uh, there's tomatoes, string beans, all of that contributes to the shore, but the potatoes are a big deal. This particular planter cuts the rows off when you come to the end, keeps you from going too far, doesn't overplant. Uh, it really saves not only the environment, but saves the fertilizer also. You know, when you, you know what they've worked for all their lives and it's continually building up and you see it continually getting bigger, it's just uh, a lot of pride you have in your whole family seeing it being successful what you do. Just you grow up with and you really, when you think about it, you're not real sure how you could, what you would do if you did something else, you know, because this is just kind of what you're born to do and what you've done all your life and it's just natural to you. We all grew up on the water. Uh, you know, we crabbed in the water, we went fishing, we were on the boat swimming. You know, it's a thing that you want your kids to be able to do as well. And a lot of times, being in this business, you get the feeling that uh, regulators might not think that you feel that way. But farmers are just as concerned about keeping the environment and the waters clean as anybody else. I, I've always always felt a, a, a wanting to have that kind of connection like I have with my father and I, I can already see it in my son and, and my daughter also. Being a part of a family farm, everyone's involved at some point. Um, the food that we produce, we produce with our own hands and uh, it, it's, we're proud of it. We, we want to make sure that we do it in the right way and that we can stay in business so we want to make a profit but we want our product to speak for us and I think that's, uh, that's what we try to do. I think that's what most family farms try to do. 